So each of the corners has um, all the tiles have been ripped up because we're literally right on the ground. Um, so four, each of the four corners um, have plants like planted into the ground. Right. So like this yucca right here, this massive yucca is rooted probably like all the way underneath our feet. Yeah, it's, it's huge and we almost need to prop it up against the wall soon enough because it's getting so <laughs> massive. <laughs> yeah. So this is the warmer of the two greenhouses. We keep more of the like tropical-ish collection here. So like a lot of the citruses are in here, like the banana plants, um, birds of paradise, a lot of the palms are in here. A lot of our vining plants, like as you can see this guy, this Aristolochia, um, we cut that back down to the windows every year and every year it grows like 10 times in size. And then this is the base of the Aristolochia. It's like the hugest thing ever and it just has this like little tiny truck. truck. So the other thing is in the summer we actually move, every plant goes outside. Um, so the conservatories are actually empty in the summer. So once we do move out, then all of these things will be outside, except for everything planted in the fall. So literally the first like four hours of the day are just like watering and plant care. And it looks like she's holding the flower. This is our probably most valuable plant in the collection. It's super rare. Someone was selling one of these that had one leaf for like this tall on Facebook Marketplace for $600. And we have this. This is a uh, euphorbia. Uh, it's just called, the common name is Sticks on Fire. And this plant is actually what latex is made out of. Um, so if you look right here, like I just ripped off a little piece and it's actually oozing out latex right now. Um, so this is a cool one, a cool plant in the collection because anytime we move it, we break off a lot of these things on accident and it's just latexing all over the place. <laughs> But it's really neat. Yeah, we got our own. It'll, it'll just keep doing that for a while. This one in the corner is actually our oldest plant. Um, oldest plant in the collection. It's a split leaf philodendron. Um, and it's huge. We actually have to, when we do move out this winter or this summer, we actually have to lift it up and push it back in because it's crawling out so much. It's literally trying to root into the tile over here. All those aerial roots and stuff, they're all just finding a place to go. She's massive. Huge, huge plant. One of my favorites. Mealy bugs, which are like our biggest uh, enemy here. Public enemy number one at this place. Um, so I got the license that way I can legally apply pesticides in here and hopefully like actually start controlling the different pests that we have in here. We also practice integrated pest management. So we just released a bunch of ladybugs in here. It's really cool. Um, we try to control the bugs with as little chemicals as possible, but you know, if you have a bunch of plants crowded into one place, you're not gonna, you can't <laughs> avoid bugs. <laughs> it's going it's going to happen. These are all mealy bugs on that. Like those are all nasty little mealy bugs. Um, we had, we've had some casualties, <laughs> some plant casualties from the bugs. Um, like every, anything that fruits is really susceptible. So like a lot of citruses, like our coffee tree, Real devastated by uh, the bugs. So this is our daffodil field. Uh, it's one of our like main attractants in the spring of Tower Hill, um, or New England Botanic Garden. Um, this is only about 40% popped up right now, but like once in a couple weeks, this entire field will be yellow. Um, a lot of people really enjoy it. It's really beautiful when it's fully popped up. We have a few different types of daffodils in here, as you can see, like the lighter ones versus the darker ones. Um, but yeah, so we're still expecting way more to pop up, which is crazy because it already looks really full. Um, but yeah, it's very, very visually appealing <laughs> when it gets there, which will we'll be there soon.